Hello everyone. Another great, <clears throat> another great opportunity to be with you. And uh, the weather's a little different this week. Uh, winter's in the air, it feels. And I know my son it works out west in Grand Prairie, Alberta, and uh, he was saying how they have snow on the ground, and it was minus five or six the other day. So we're pretty fortunate to even have the weather we have. It's cool, but it's not snow. So let's begin, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you, and with your spirit. And as we uh, begin, we always acknowledge that in our human form we do sin, and, and that's part of our, our uh, Christian faith, is to acknowledge that, and to offer them up to our Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. So, the readings still are carrying on from um, last Sunday and uh, pretty well uh, the last few weeks on how Jesus is uh, saying to us and saying, said to his disciples that, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit... Is, is here for us all, but it's not going to be easy. So just to get things on a good move, let's start with uh, kind of an uplifting hymn. It's got the whole world in our hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got you and me sister in his hands he's got you and me brother in his hands he's got you and me sister in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the little tiny baby in, in his, his hands. hands he's got the little tiny baby in his hands he's got the little tiny baby in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got all of us here in his hands he's got all of us here in his hands he's got all of us here in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he certainly does have the whole world in his hands especially during um, the challenging times that we're experiencing and uh, you know, this is, uh, <clears throat> last Sunday our readings were about the blind beggar. And uh, they kind of connect even with uh, our readings today uh, from our first reading is uh, St. Paul to the Romans and our, the gospel reading today is from Luke. But on Sunday, the Jesus said to the blind beggar, get up and throw off your cloak. And that's uh, kind of a parallel with what we're, we're talking about uh, uh, today the narrow gate and you know as we come before our Lord today always eager to praise him and to receive his grace and uh, you know that's always available to us and St. Paul describes it in our first reading often we don't know how to pray as we ought it's not that we don't pray but it's how we pray and he you know is invoking to his people at the time just how important the spirit uh, comes to aid us during our weaknesses the spirit intercedes with ex inexpressible groaning um, yet the Holy Spirit we ask to guide us in prayers whenever we pray and for the glory of God in the advancement of, of uh, Christ's kingdom but it's a clear destination Jesus was saying in that gospel from Luke today. He knew that his mission was to uh, just to be himself 
and as he is himself, he's offering himself on the cross for our, the world's redemption. And even though he kept busy on the way, Jesus passed through towns and villages teaching as he went. He never lost sight of his destination. So that's something we have to ask ourselves. Do we know how everything we do in our daily, um, daily routines contribute to our journey? Um, we have to be intentional about keeping our destination in, in the forefront and, and that's part of our, our uh, Christian Catholic uh, obligations. But yet, there are many voices that distract us. So many false promises that take our attention away. And, and yeah, I don't know about you, but I know I get distracted rather easily. As disciples of Christ, we should learn from our Master and renew our commitment every single day to continue our journey to our true des destination. The question posed today in, in today's gospel is posed in every generation. It hasn't changed. We need to be concerned about our own journey, our own fidelity to God's grace. And so Jesus encourages us to stay humble, to take good care of our souls first. We need to strive to be able to enter through that narrow gate. Yeah, we're going to fall off. Uh, you know, the path is going to get narrow and we're going to make mistakes and and that's what <clears throat> we might refer to a fallen world. But just as last Sunday, the blind beggar, even in spite of his handicaps and that he had to beg for food and everything, he never, never lost his faith. And that's what it, it's all about, being a disciple, uh, you know, with Christ. So we want to strive to enter through that narrow gate. And, uh, you know, there's uh, many things that uh, we can do and many things that we do that are just subconscious that that's the right thing to be doing. And one thing is to uh, always become like a child, trusting more in, in our Lord and the power of the Holy Spirit. So for today, by His grace, we will make a special visit, you know, and maybe just some quiet time, uh, say a little prayer or just meditate for all those who we love, all those who help us, and all those who are in the most need of his mercy. And this is maybe when you might want to pick up, uh, pick up your Bible and, and uh, read a scripture or two, uh, just to continue to be familiar with uh, Jesus' word. So as we continue, let's uh, go for another hymn, and I'm going to um, come Holy Spirit, because that's what we're we're uh, always available for is the presence of the Holy Spirit. So here we go.
celebrate this uh, spiritual communion service and so we as we continue to pray you know and thinking in mind what the Holy Spirit has available for us let us offer our prayers to those that uh, you know are sick and uh, not well maybe related to the pandemic uh, related to old age uh, or just I've had a couple people um, unfortunately had a bad fall so um, you know let's keep everybody in our prayers we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer and worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches wisdom and strength honor and glory and praise we ask this our Lord and as we pray again let us pray for our families that we maybe cannot see as frequently as we'd like to see and uh, but we can still pray for them we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer let us praise Christ the Good Shepherd of our souls who loves and protects his people placing our hope in him we cry out we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer that eternal Shepherd protect our our Pope Pope Francis our bishops and many clergy of all Christian denominations we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer and have mercy on us on us dear Lord needy provide us that spiritual food for our hungry soul we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer 
as we say the prayer our, lady, our Lord gave us. And I don't know if I can enlarge this. I'll try. Uh, let me see if this will work. Yeah, I can center it. Um, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from, free from stress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And the peace be with you and with your spirit. And although I cannot be with you, I certainly um, pass on a, a, a sincere gesture of peace. Peace be with you. And now as we prepare ourselves to receive spiritual communion, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the <clears throat> and uh, I'll see if I can get this enlarged too. Sometimes my boxes won't line up. No, it's not going to work right now. So I'll just read it to you. As, um, find it here. I can read it. see it. Dear Lord, as we come together today, we believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. We love you above all things, and we desire you in our souls. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts as though you were already there we embrace you and unite ourselves wholly to you and permit not that we should ever be separated from you amen and as we continue let's have another hymn and uh, amazing grace <laughs>
Yes, that hymn really resonates with our message today about grace and the Holy Spirit and how often we are blind and lost. And it's very difficult going through that narrow gate when we're in that state. And we hear from, uh, just as uh, our gospel from uh, St. Luke today ends, uh, Jesus said, Indeed, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. And so as we conclude today, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverance. My God is my saving strength. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. So the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm just going to leave the, he's got the whole world in our hands. It's kind of an uplifting hymn to uh, depart on. So God bless everyone, and I'll see you next week. He's got the whole world in our hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little tiny baby. In his hands, he's got the little tiny baby. In his hands, he's got the little tiny baby. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got all of us here. In his hands, he's got all of us here. In his hands, he's got all of us here. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the 